What is up you guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to sell on Amazon and how to get your listing on the first page. This video is gonna involve Amazon SEO and listing optimization in order for you to get ranked on the first page because it's really important that you get always ranked on that first page, especially with selling products in my store. I always make sure all the products I sell are always ranked number one on the page because nobody's looking on the second or third page. So in front of me here, I have Helium 10 and this is just gonna show you guys like how legit I am and how I know all the information just to show you guys some like credibility. You can see I've had over a million dollars in sales as of this year, see that right here and net profit of over $450,000. It's really, really important that you get ranked on the first page and this video it's gonna be a bit long, but it's gonna give you a lot of detailed and information of what you can do to get like some secrets and tips of stealing competitors, main keywords and listing. It's just gonna ultimately give you more sales on Amazon. So let's get started right away. So in front of me here, I have, this is just gonna show you guys a search. Let's say we're looking, let's say we're selling dog ear wipes here, right? This is just gonna be an example of like what's a good product and what's a bad product, right? So just listing optimization we're gonna be talking about right now is you wanna have main keywords on the title, right? So this is a good product in my opinion the pet MD because they had the big main keywords in the front and later on in the video I'm going to show you guys more about that but the picture right here is what I like to do when I sell on Amazon is that I want to make sure the picture takes the main as much as much you know space as possible you barely want any spaces on the edge when having your main image. This is really gonna make sure that it showcases and pops in the front. You're gonna wanna also have the main keywords in the front as well. I'm gonna show you guys later on in that video. Let me just show you a bad example. So this is something that I don't like here. And just because it doesn't take up all the market cap and all the space that you can do, it's just not appealing. It's like this whole thing doesn't take as much space and you're kind of wondering what it is as for this it's the same size and it just looks a lot bigger. So if you just go here and you're scrolling down, you can see like this one and this one, they take a lot of space and it's easier to see compared to something like this. This is why this one's only doing 200 this month and this one is doing 30,000, 700, 2000 because they really showcase and have this pop out. Let's say you want an image like this, you can get it 3D rendered on Fiverr. So you can go always to fiverr.com. And if anything, I'll leave a Fiverr recommendation of the supplier that I use for 3D renders. And if you wanna use Fiverr and get a 3D render of a product, I'm gonna have a link in the description that you can use. So you can do this like 3D rendering products. And all of these are 3D renders right here that you can do to make a better image for the product that you're trying to sell. And if you want to use a 3D render, I'm going to have the person that I recommend in the description down below, as well as in the pinned comments. So this is another bad example that I don't like. It just, I would rather it showcase the product fully like this compared to something like this. If they had this in the front, I do think they would get a lot more sales. I don't like the design on this as well. And this is why I think it's only getting 50 sales per month. So this is a little bit of listing optimization. First, look at the image, maximize the best images as possible with a 3D render or get professional photography as well. So, you know, that's very main, mainly self-explanatory, but let's go more about in depth with the title and the SEO, right? This, let's say we want to rank higher on Amazon. We need to know what's the main keywords that we need to focus on and what are ways that we can get ranked for certain keywords, right? So let's say a uh, dog ear wipes here. Let's say I would do this with any competitor that you see on Amazon. Let's say this is our main competitor here. They're taking all of the sales. So what I like to do is use a tool called Helium 10. If you don't have Helium 10, I'm gonna have a discount code in the description down below, as well as in the pinned comments. But this is really a tool that's gonna help you go long-term on Amazon. I really recommend you to get it if you don't have Helium 10. It's allowed me to really grow my business like 50 to 100% every year, seeing growth into my business. So what I use is Helium 10 to do some more product research 
of this product. So let's go to this product right here. We're gonna get the ASIN, the ASIN's pass db slash right here. We're gonna copy this really quick here. And we're gonna go back to Helium 10 here really quick and we're gonna click tools and we're gonna click Cerebro. This is gonna allow us to do some reverse engineering on our competitors. We're gonna paste the ASIN here of our competitor and we're gonna get get keywords. So this is gonna allow us to get the keywords from our main competitor. Let's say we want to sell dog ear wipes as well. This is the main competitor. What are we gonna do now? What I want you to do is put these two filters, search volume filter and organic rank. Let's say for this one, we're gonna put 2000 minimum searches to 500. 1000 rank one through 10. This is really gonna give us the main keywords of this product. You can see here, it gave us 19 keywords, which is really high. Usually I get around 10 filtered keywords. This person's doing a lot of sales and that's why it gave us 19. We're gonna put this from high to low with the quick here. And you can see here what they're really ranked for here. So let's say we wanted to sell this exact product. What you want to do is try to include as much of these main keywords on your title. And the, you know, the more in the front of the title right here gives you the most strength for the listing. And then at the end is like, they're called tail keywords, which the most strength is in the front. So the most strength is in the front, right? So what I personally would do is put like, let's say I, I wanted to sell this product. I would put pet supplies, ear wipes for dogs. Let's see the CPR pet supplies. CPR is 60. Okay, so I would put, so if I'm trying to get the best SEO title and get something that ranks really well, I would put these main keywords in the title as much as I can. So let's say for this, I'll put the dog ear wipes right here. I'm gonna put that right here. Dog treatment, you can put that maybe at the end of the title. You could put like infection treatment. So you don't have to rewrite the same words. So if it has dog ear, it has dog ear here. So you don't have to rewrite the same words. So we could put pet supplies in here, dog ear wipes. You kind of want to play with it and see as much keywords as you can put in here and have the title makes as much sense as possible. This is what's really going to help you out with ranking and getting an SEO title that gives you all of the strength of what people are searching for when they're looking for this exact product, like dog ear cleaner wipes. They're looking for these keywords. You can see here the search volume every day for these exact keywords. So if you get these keywords in your title, Amazon automatically just optimizes your listing for those keywords. So when people search those keywords, you have more strength on your on your product. Of course, you're gonna to need to get more sales with your products in order to get ranked on Amazon. This is just gonna allow you to get a little bit more advantage than your competitors. Try to use as much of these keywords as possible in your listing. If you wanna use Helium 10, like I said, I'm gonna have a discount code for you in the description down below, but this is what's really gonna help you SEO and optimize your title for your listing. So yeah, try to use as much of these keywords as possible in your listing and it's really going to help now let's go back to the listing and i want you guys to also try to use those main keywords in the bullet points as well this is what's really going to help as well like using these keywords that people are searching the most for your competitors if you put those keywords in your product bullets in your title and if people also let's say this is a plus content as well you can be putting those main keywords in here and what also gives you some extra strength is when people leave those keywords on the reviews. That's what's automatically gonna get some strength for those keywords. So when people search up those main keywords, you pop up for the listing. So now that we talked a little bit about Amazon listing optimization, now we're gonna be talking about Amazon SEO and how you can get ranked on the first page for Amazon. So with listing optimization, you can only do so much to optimize your listing and to make it better. But what really drives ranking on Amazon is not reviews or anything like that. It's sales. Sales is what gives you the ranking, is what gets you on the first page. 
and constantly keeps you on the first page. Reviews do help definitely and they they give you strength for the listing like the more reviews you have the more strength long term you have it on the listing so let's say you run out of inventory for example like right when you get your inventory back you have so much strength and history on the listing that it automatically brings it up to the first page it's a crazy thing that i've noticed that i mean some products that i've had in the past i completely run out of i'm freaking out and sometimes for like two to even three weeks, I'm out of stock because of um, logistics. I'm getting it from China and you know, the cargo shipments usually not the fastest, but sometimes I'm out for like two to three weeks. But once it arrives at Amazon's warehouse, it automatically jumps to that first spot back. It's absolutely insane. So you want to always make sure that, you, like I said, you ranked on the first page. I get as much reviews as possible for your products. But what really, really helps you out and gets you on the first page in the first place is sales. So how does this whole Amazon SEO work and ranking work? So what I like to use is Helium 10, right? So we're going to go back to this right here. I'm going to go back to the beginning, right? So like this is our competitor. This is like we're trying to sell dog ear wipes as well. We don't know where to start, like how we're going to get ranked on the first page. This is the main keywords you want to look for. So let's go back to these filters. Let's put one through 15, right? We're going to apply filters. Now we got 39 filtered keywords. We're going to rank it from high to low. You can see here. And now, now that you can see we have, these are the search volumes that these keywords are getting searched every day. 106,000, 35,000, 29,000, 28,000. And this one, dog bath is kind of irrelevant, but they're also ranked 14 on it, which is pretty crazy. So, okay, let's go. So what I like to do here is dog products. That's pretty cool. They're ranked 13th on dog products. So what I like to do here is go to the search volume here and what you want to go a uh, scroll to the right here and under CPR is what you want to look for. So the CPR is the amount of units you have to sell for the next eight days to get ranked on the first page for that spot. So what I like to do, especially with beginners and somebody that's getting new to Amazon and just learning the whole process is I recommend to do look for a CPR that has 50 or below. And this is what's going to help you get ranked easier on Amazon. This is going to be more of a low competitive field. So I don't recommend you trying to rank for a dog ear cleaner. That's going to be very, very hard. Instead, you can try to rank for ear wipes for dogs. You can see this one's getting 6,000 searches a day and you just have to sell 35 units every day for the next eight days to get ranked for this main keyword. You could also do it for this keyword as well. And as much as you can, like I said, if they use these main keywords on your reviews, it really, really gives that strength for you ranking for that keyword as well. So if somebody puts dog ear cleaner on the reviews, a bunch of them, I'm telling you it's gonna help it rank the whole process. So if you have like friends and family and you're really trying to launch your first product and trying to get ranked, get your friends and family to buy your product, leave some reviews, some honest reviews, and use these main keywords. It's really, really gonna help you out rank higher on Amazon. So let's say we wanted to rank for ear cleaner dog because the CPR is less than 50. Because when it comes to Amazon, I like to aim for a CPR for me, 100 or less. For beginners, I recommend 50 or less. And you have to sell, uh, like, like let's say this product right here, 33 units. You have to sell 33 units on day one, 33 units day two. On day three, 33 units, day four, 33 units for eight days consistently in order to get ranked on the first page for that keyword. How would you do it? Personally, what I would do is some aggressive Amazon PPC ads. PPC is a pay-per-click ads, and I would really manually target the keyword that you want. For this, let's say, for example, we're really trying to target ear cleaner dog. I really go aggressive on those Amazon PPC ads for those next eight days to help it get ranked on the first page for that product. What you can also do is make an Instagram following as well 
and you know find influencers and give out products as well for that and you just have to tell them to search up this main keyword add it to the cart and you know you you give it away to them for free there's a different little secret alternatives to all this little tips and tricks i literally teach you guys how to do the whole process for free and amazon advertising as well with my free course if you're ever interested in wanting to learn more about amazon or like a little bit stuck with the whole process I also have an Amazon free course, literally nothing is needed. All this information is on there as well. You can literally start three minutes from now. I even have an Amazon PPC guide of how to get the cheapest clicks as well. And also all the information is also here on my YouTube channel as well. Always for free for you guys. So if you ever wanna get more serious about Amazon, check that out and check out Helium 10 as well. The discount code is down below, but you really wanna focus on that CPR amount. That's what's really, really gonna help you out with ranking higher for these main keywords. So you always wanna aim for 50 or less, right? For the CPR. If it's over, like for this main keyword, I don't recommend even trying to rank for it as well. It's terrible. And you always want to use these main keywords on your listing as much as possible. If you have these keywords on your listing or in your description or your title, it's really, really going to help you out and just get you ranked higher on Amazon. Also, what's going to get you ranked higher on Amazon is advertising Amazon PPC ads. I literally have a video of that. You can get really cheap discounted clicks if you know how to do it really in advance of Amazon PPC. And I'm gonna show you guys a bit of secrets of how to do that. Amazon PPC video, I'm not gonna have it on here. I'm gonna have it in my channel. So hit that subscribe button, like this video if you can, and also check out the Amazon PPC ad. This is gonna give you more sales for your product and some tips of tricks of how you can get really cheap clicks of how people can buy your product. Super easy and simple. If this video was helpful to you, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. That's all about it, guys. If you have any questions, comments, leave them in the comment down below. I'll reply to them all, and that's about it. See ya.